All right, we're out here at a new job today. It's a Monday morning and we're starting a pool patio. So I just got some of the stuff laid out. So the, this pin here and this pink string line, if you can see it, to right by the slide, and then it's gonna go in and over. That's gonna be a wall. And then we have a seat wall going around that spa there. And then they have an existing patio underneath there with pavers, and we're gonna do a wall right up to it with some stairs so that everything around the pool is all the same height. So right now I gotta dig this down here so that we can put the wall in and uh, go from there. So day one starting now. Okay, we're back. It's Wednesday morning. Everything's dried up. We came back yesterday afternoon after the sod job and we got the rest of the base in. And our water issue was just the rainwater draining out from around the pool, I think. So we got a couple blocks started. So we're gonna be able to hit the ground running today and get most of this wall in, I think. And then we'll have to step up a couple, well, go a couple bricks in, and then we'll step up and go around and have uh, like two or three steps there. So that's where we're at so far.
Okay, Wednesday afternoon. Just getting ready to leave. And we got the swell in, which is actually the first step here because there's going to be two or three steps depending on however it works out. And then this wall here has three of five courses done for a majority of it. Except for down here where there's only two courses because we've got to dig the rest of that dirt out. And then we buried this drain to here that's behind the wall and then right there behind the wall it goes out and underneath so coming along nice should be able to finish up this wall tomorrow and get dug out for the next wall and hopefully basin maybe and then lay some blocks for the second wall on friday i'd say depending on weather over here got all of our bricks staged got delivered yesterday and then it's an empty lot so we have our trailer right there which is nice so that's end of day two basically okay it's thursday around 11 now haven't really been filming much we're just finishing up the fourth course out of five we got all this mud dug out because there was a little bit left in between the P-stone and our gravel. So we got that dug out and put there. We're gonna have to use that to slope down. Once we're filling in the gravel. But we're getting ready to put our layer of geogrid in to hold the wall back. So that's why we're making an extra flat behind the wall. So it's looking really good. The guys were just here cutting the lawn next door. Friday morning, yesterday at about 3, 3.30, it started, we had a pretty bad storm. It wasn't bad here, but uh, in the area there was a lot of hail and stuff, so anyways. We took off early, but we got the wall finished up other than the coping, and we got this pretty well graded, and it was a good test. Just a little low spot right here, and then it'll all get to the drain. So on today's agenda, we are going to dig out up here and start getting basin ready for the top wall. So that next week, most likely, we will work on that wall and then the wall around the fire, or the uh, hot tub over there. And then uh, start laying pavers. And then we'll have the last week to finish up pavers and do all the landscaping around the pool, spring quitter sod, and all the restoration stuff. So, but today we are uh, gonna dig this out and uh, see where we get.
Good morning, it is Monday morning back at the pool job. And we got a couple more extra guys today because we're not doing lawns. So we're working on getting the base set and gonna start working on putting in the first course of wall for both the last two walls and steps. So after that, we can just work on pavers. So we're bringing in base camping it and we got everything cleaned up so that we can build the wall right up to the pa existing pavers so here's where we're at start sweeping off the top and you can start placing the coat you're gonna have to chisel the coping and place it well I gotta get oh, to the pallets okay. of coping okay so you want me to just pull the trailer up and the back yeah out of the road no 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 I can just move it with this oh. but just get it ready to be able to be moved and get the stuff to broom and stuff in a, a big fat chisel and a hammer okay, okay. and I'll show you how to split the coping and then place it and then we'll okay. move it once we're ready. You'll just have to keep it over there kind of because I can't run over the extension cord. Okay.
Can you get the uh, a hammer and the fat chisel? Oh, it's over there. All right. Well then. And the hammer. So. All right, then just that and the hand broom you'll need uh, for the coping. but just don't use them with the chisel. Just don't use them with the chisel. Oh yeah. Okay, so they come together like this, see? Yeah. You can go over it. So you flip it over like this, and then where's the chisel? Oh. You always do it on the bottom because you don't want to see the marks from the chisel. So just give it a tap, tap. Sometimes it's three. Just keep moving it. See how you can, I mean, you can barely see it, but you see that white line. So now you don't see it at all on the top. I got you. And that's it. Oh, and that's right. the rough edge when you cut. Right. That's cool. Yeah. That makes sense. Cool. So the rough edge obviously oh, goes okay. on the out. All right. So that's it. All right. Actually, we can see how it goes. What? Your... Well, just make sure you sweep off the top first. Okay. Do you want to sweep while I cut these and then we can do them all? Yeah. And then we'll have to get the table saw out and cut uh, 45 so that we have two faces. Okay. For the... Uh... For each corner? Yeah. Well, just the... You use the, the rough 45 for the uh, outside corner here. 
And then use the scraps for the inside corner. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you don't want any rough edges. dry set and uh, get all the cuts done and then we'll go on. Okay. It'll be the same thing, you'll just pick them up, go ahead, pick it up, it'll be a super. Like all the way to the end. Oh. Well, technically, there should be a couple end ones. But for spacing purposes, I would do it like this. Um, but sometimes there's end ones where the gap is closed. Okay. See? Oh, I saw that. On both sides or one? On one. See, that's an end right here. I see. 
These two are both ends. Oh, these two are both ends right here. Oh, there's an end I cut though. That one? Wrong end though. So the other one that you split it off of is probably the right one. Yep, yep. Right there. Yep. See how it is? Yeah. Oh, I got you. All right, I'll start spreading some more base if you want to keep breaking Kyle, and they're going to keep working on this right. so we can work on base. Because otherwise, they're just going to not have much to do. This See, so now there, there's no uh, questioning the lot. Like, what's that? Yeah. And if we have an extra end, you just have to cut it out with the saw. Okay. But uh, just keep in mind, we'll need one there, one there, and like one there. Okay. So we need two of each. No. Plus we'll need the steps to have ends. So maybe just keep them separate for right now. And then we'll need, we'll cut them if we need to. Yeah, so I would just like. I put. Alright. Because, yeah, we'll need those for all the steps. Push a little more towards the hot tub. Twelve and a half to thirteen. So we still need to get up to like middle of that whatever that is.
This is pretty close here. So go to like, see my foot? Go to like here. Like with just like another inch or whatever. See the bottom step, how I chiseled off the one thing? In the middle? Or the On the, all of them? Yeah. The whole thing. Oh. You'll have to do that for the top two. Okay. Because for the step, we need them to overhang a little bit more because we're gonna have those lights. And if you don't have it all the way forward like that, mm -hmm. it's, you can, it's almost like flush with the light. So if you move it forward uh, half an inch or three quarters of an inch or whatever it is, it covers the whole light better. Okay. So. I'll do that after I get like an Yep, no, I just was letting you know, just to keep it in your mind. Okay, thanks.
actually made it harder for me to look at that to lean back on. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm shifting these and hitting them. We have to mess with them anyways, because if you stand back there, it's not perfectly 90 degrees to the pool. Mm. So we're going to have to mess with them a little bit. Like forward or back? <clears throat> um, over there has to go back a little, and over here has to go forward a little. Yeah. Forward. Just a hair. So today's Tuesday, and this is where we're at. Getting the top wall finished up. We got all that done. So now we're getting it over to here, and there's gonna be one more step here. And then we're gonna start the wall around this. And then once that's done, we can uh, move on to doing the pavers. <laughs> 